when we get back here in the morning, we will uh, go up as high as we can go and uh, get the glass platforms ready and go from there. Should look pretty cool. Actually, I might even want to get... Whoa! Ah! Never mind about no enemy mobs. No? Stupid creepers. Well, that's nice to know that... <laughs> the other mods I have installed haven't totally screwed up the enemies. Nice to see, it's nice to see a creeper and skeleton and spider, even though it's not so nice to <laughs> fight them. But uh, let's go get let's go get some netherrack just in case I want a bit of decoration. And while I'm here, let's go plant these seeds. Enough. And we should be able to see this pillar of, well, these pillars of light from fairly far away, as far as rendering distances allow, anyway. They're going to be streaming lava, and the center one's going to be all the way up to the limit of the map. And of course, the other ones will provide additional light. these now anymore. Since we have it mapped out where they're gonna be up top. Now you can take out the dirt from the center of these ditches here because lava is just gonna pour down along the sides anyway so whatever. I'm not going to do that though because if you do that, then the lava is going to flow back down in through the center area here. And that's just more that the computer has to render out, so I'm not going to do that. Especially, especially for those of you who might download this world later when I make it available. Um, my computer could probably handle it fairly well, but those of you with slower computers and stuff might not appreciate the extra rendering that you're not going to be able to see anyway, because if lava would flow back in here, you're not going to see it anyway because it's going to be all surrounded by lava, so there's no real point in bothering with it. Let's just contain it to these ditches here and then be good enough. Um, Alright, so... For the center, we'll just 
pile up dirt till we get to where we can't place blocks anymore. And then we'll make the platform from there. This probably isn't the brightest idea, but... Really? That's as high up as we can go. It's kind of lame. I guess so. So now I want to dig three pillars down. Th well, three blocks. Because... Um, actually, yeah. Okay, I did that right. Now, place glass around here. I guess since the lava is going to flow over anyway, it doesn't really matter if you use glass or not. I'm just retarded, I guess. Because this is all going to be inside the lava, so it doesn't really matter, but... Oh, wells! So, we want to mirror the pattern that we had before. And like I said, I don't know lava physics all that well, so this may be something of a silly idea. Um... I'll put that right there for now. I'll worry about that dirt block in a minute. Now this scaffolding process for you guys, if you were going to make this on your own world and you didn't have single player commands, this would be a bit more complicated. Well, not really complicated so much as you'd have to do it better than I just did, which I'll show you here in a minute. I did it wrong to begin with with the center pillar, and I just realized. Um, but yeah, we got the pillar up there. Now, what I did was build in the center because I'm a retard, but what you, <laughs> what you want to do is build off to the side your scaffolding. You know what? Just to save some time. Let's do it right here. I think, right? Yeah. Build off to the side of where your platforms are going to be. down I guess for right now. Well, this doesn't matter so much, but I guess while I'm up here I could get rid of the dirt block. Alright, be right back. Game's lagging a bit. Alright, I'm back. Hopefully that helped a little bit, maybe. I don't know. Don't know why the game does that, but whatever. Um, so yeah. Build your scaffolding off to the side. And then just try and mirror the pattern here. Now let's see. I think the easiest way to do it would be like this. One, two, three, one. And then the glass there, there, there. Oh, I did. I no wonder. Ah, I'm retarded. Yeah, never mind. 
there, there. Place one on top, and that one's done. Um, let's see, what else? Oh yeah, dirt. And then the glass. There. There. Alright, that one's done. There's an extra glass there on the bottom to hold that up, but it's just quicker than using dirt. You don't ha if you really want to be sparse on your glass, just put a piece of dirt up top, place the top glass, and then take the dirt down, and you won't have the extra s glass, but whatever, I don't, ca I don't really care. Um, and since we're up here, I'm just going to go across and do it this way, I guess. Instead of making a whole nother scaffold. Two, three, and then one, one. Glass, 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 glass there. There, done. And done. Sorry, after the failure of the game before. I'm trying to be careful enough to remember to save after building stuff so the game doesn't lose it. Alright, so we're pretty much done here. I don't think I can... I guess I can place the lava now. At least over here, like that. And that's going to form a really cool structure when it gets down to the bottom. Unfortunately, I am now out of lava. Need to go get more, which means we'll have to go to the nether. Whoops. And I was going to make these lower, like I said, but since I already built them all the way up here at the top, I might as well just keep them at the top. <laughs> I told you, I'm retarded. Uh, where's the scaffolding? Ah, uh, it's right there. Good, I would have made the wrong block go away. Now, because of the ditch we made, the lava's not going to go all over the place when it finally gets down there. Looks like we're going to beat it, though. <laughs> ah, Creeper and Skeleton, of course. Now, it should stay in the ditch. It's probably going to go out into the little areas around there, just because I haven't put the other lava in yet. But And it provides a nice lighting structure all the way from the top. And the uh, pillar dimensions give it a little dimension going down, so it's just not one straight lava thing. It's also handy against the mods, the mobs, because they'll walk right into it. For now, I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put some nether rack around it, so not so much so the mobs don't walk into it, but so that we don't walk into it by accident. Um. Hmm. I guess I can fight the mob mobs. <coughs> ah. Oh. No. 
Ah. You're mean. All right, so we're going to respawn right next to our bed, hopefully, which means we'll be able to sleep and get rid of the enemies. I suppose they're probably not there now that we've despawned anyway, but this will keep them from coming up again. Let's go get our stuff. Which means we have to go all the way back there, get our junk, and then go all the way back here. Oh, they are over there yet. Might as well just sit here and let them die first. We'll have to go all the way over there get our stuff because our buckets are over there. And then we'll have to go back to the nether. Stupid zombie's not going to die because he's in the water. See, look at that pillar of light. Isn't that awesome? You're not going to come after me, are you, spider? You better not. Cows are dying because they're retarded. Oh, we almost lost our compass. Right, so. Pretty much got everything, looks like. We're going to have to reset our inventory, but whatever. So let's go ahead go back here because we do have to go to the nether to get all of the lava that we need just one good thing about the nether is easy access to lava well depending on where you end up in the nether I guess might not be quite so easy for us to get it because we didn't end up in the best of spots in the nether, but whatevs. I think we're going to... Oh, I forgot to dump the water, but that's alright. It doesn't matter. Um... Sorry, I'm just trying to organize my inventory at the moment. Get everything where I want it. It's good enough for now. Um, let's just go ahead and go into the nether. Water, if you didn't already know, disappears in the nether, so that's why I'm not worried about it. But I do need to get to where lava is around here, which means I'm going to have to go down. 
See, I'll place water, and it's gone. Evaporates. Now, I need to get to a source of still lava. Which may be slightly tricky. Actually, I should go put some torches down. I know where to go. Don't get myself lost. Now, guests, all you have to do is leave me alone for a couple minutes, please, and thank you. Holy crap, that's a little too far down. I'm not nearly down enough. Not nearly enough. Dang it. Oh, come on, gas. Leave me alone. Get over it. Ah. Uh, this is gonna suck. Why can't there ever be an easy way down? Short of getting blown off the... There. Am I anywhere near close? No. Ugh. Nether, why do you hate me so? Why don't you be a nice nether? Seriously, I'm still not down enough? I got my leather, or not my leather, lava. Leather, that's retarded. Come on! Just leave me alone, gas. I haven't done anything to you. Follow the torches home. <coughs> and away we go. And we should be fairly safe and sound now. Unless some pigmen go crazy or something. Now we will have to make one more trip here because we only have the three buckets, so... That'll mean four lava pillars. But unfortunately, I have five. And I can't get through there again because the game hates me.
now to make these other lava pillars, you'd have to make a, another scaffold, of course, if you don't have single player commands. I do, so just to save some time, instead of doing that, I'm going to simply fly up. But all you would have to do is what I've been doing, is just build a dirt pillar, go up, place the lava, and just dig your way back down. Not a big deal. See, that was so much easier to build than the lighthouse. <laughs> just dump a, dump a bucket of lava and let it flow. Quick and easy, quick and easy. And of course it's night time again. Lame sauce. Anyways. Fly! Because I can. And it'll save us some time. Let's go over here. Drop that down. 